This is the sandbox calculator in VCalc. Uh, it's a fun little calculator, but it also provides some useful information. Uh, if you basically want to fill a sandbox uh, with play sand, uh, one of the questions is how much sand do you need? And this calculator will answer that for you. So basically, first thing you need to know is what is the dimensions and the shape of your sandbox? So we have two pretty standard ones here. The most common that you'll find is the rectangular sandbox, but you may have a round one. Uh, so we'll walk you through the different ones. So if you have a rectangular, you come over to the, the buttons here and you click on the second one. How much sand is in a rectangular sandbox? And here's where you give your dimensions. Now uh, in BCalc, often you have unit choices. So you put it in inches, or if you uh, use the metric system, uh, you can use meters, etc. cetera. But uh, we'll go ahead and leave it in inches uh, for, or rather feet for here in the United States. Uh, so the length of this sandbox we're gonna say is uh, four feet long. We're gonna say it is three feet wide. And then the depth of the sand that I wish to have into it, I'm going to say I want it to be eight inches deep. And what this does is it goes out and it calculates the volume, but also then come, uses some industry standards on how big is a bag of play sand. And in most places, a bag of play sand is a half of a cubic foot. So I could say, what is the volume? And it'll go ahead and calculate. In this case, it was eight cubic feet. But then I can come back and say, well, what does that turn into? number of bags. It would tell me that I need to go off and buy 16 bags of sand. Uh, and then it would actually tell me the total price based upon uh, recent pricing. So it would say that is $64.80 in, in this case uh, to buy that much play sand based upon pricing at uh, a recent uh, nationally advertised retailer like Home Depot or Lowe's. So again, very useful in this case uh, to tell me how many bags of sand I need to buy in order to fill uh, that sandbag or that, that sandbox. Uh, so that was for a rectangular one. Similarly for a circular one, in this case, instead of putting in the length and the width, you put in the diameter. So you have the same kind of information. Uh, but then also, uh, if you just have the just raw volume, if you wanted to say, hey, I have 120 uh, cubic feet, it would tell me um, how many bags I would need in that case. Uh, it also provides just basic information on pricing. Uh, and then, but an interesting one as well is the weight. Uh, and this is pretty important if you're gonna have your um, sandbox perhaps up on a, a deck or a patio or a porch, uh, you gotta realize that it is a pretty heavy item. So it's fair to say, uh, well, first off, what is the condition, is it wet or dry? But let's just assume it's wet. Because uh, if you leave your sandbox uh, open once uh, in, the, in the rain, you'll have wet sand. And then again, say you came in with 120 cubic feet, it will tell you how much that would weigh in pounds uh, or tons. Uh, so it was a pretty heavy type object. So I guess that's a fairly uh, large amount of sand. Anyway, uh, please use this uh, calculator. It's, it's fun, it's useful, uh, and it'll spare you from having to do multiple trips to the uh, store to, to buy additional bags of play sand. All right, thank you.